Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, Beauty, Bible, and oh, I upload four videos a week, Beauty, Bible, and Lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys my September favorites. Now, I wasn't loving a lot of things in September, so I just picked out, well, I mean, I was loving a lot of things in September, but it was a lot of things that carried over from August. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly share with you guys the new things that I was loving in September. We will start with makeup and then we will get into hygiene care I guess you could say okay so the first thing that I was really loving is this item brow chow yeah item brow chow ultra fine brow definer now this you guys I love I love everything about this I love the product I don't even mind that it's one of these definer tips I love the brush it's just guys this is so creamy yet so blendable but not harsh and the color is perfect for me too. And this one is in deep brunette. And this is like the first brow pencil that has ever said brunette that hasn't been too like red toned on me. And I really, really love it. This is what I use every single day. Anytime I reach to do my makeup, I'm like, I'm gonna use something else. And I never do. I always end up grabbing this, like even over my pomades, you guys. Even if I'm doing glam over my pomades, like I'm grabbing this eye pencil. I love it. And this brush, like, I'm on a new level like that's how this brush makes me feel anyway I am the weirdest person in the world <laughs> okay the next thing that I've really been loving how in the world am I missing so many pairs of lashes well obviously I take the lashes off and just throw them around the world because I know for sure one pair of these I gave to my best friend Brie because she came over and she's like, do my makeup. And I was like, just so you know, when you ask me to do your makeup, I'm going to full glam. And I wish I would have took a picture of it, you guys. But I did the prettiest black smoky eye on her using my Tati Beauty palette. And I was just like, how? Why don't it ever look like this on me? I might try to recreate it, though, because it was the prettiest smoky eye ever. And like her... She just looks so good. I'm going to ask her if she has any pictures. But anyways, I used this these eyelashes right here these are my favorite eyelashes that i've recently fallen back in love with because i was out of these for a bit so these are the salon perfect 614s you see i'm already down to three pairs because i don't know what i did with that second pair that i wore Ugh. anyways yeah so these are my favorite lashes like of all time so another product because i got this item item beauty brow pencil in my ipsy the next item, Yinsa has some really, really good products, you guys. I had gotten a lip oil from them earlier in the year in one of my Ipsies, but this bronzer right here is so good. Super creamy, very blendable. It's not too dark, so you can go in a little bit heavy-handed with this. This is um, in their bronzer, Sunlit Glow. So this is a bronzer, not contour bronzer so if you want something like if you have really really dry skin and you like using cream products i would definitely check this yinsa bronzer out you guys i love this bronzer okay the next thing that i've really been liking is the elf rider dye lip balm i use this one now in i used to i was using this one before i would go to bed every single night and I would not have to apply any kind of lip moisturizer throughout the day. My lips would just stay nice and plump. But now, because I would use this tonight and morning. So, right, at part of my skincare routine, morning and night. Now it's jumped up only to my morning. But this keeps your lips so hydrated, you guys. And it's super glossy if you like that super glossy look. I, I don't know. Like, I can't say enough good things about it. It is pretty pigmented. So, if you want something clear, I would go with the Mighty Mint not any of their uh colored ones because they are really really pigmented they're really thick as well too so if you need some ultra like like ultra repair healing for them crusty crust pick up the elf rider dye lip balms i'm just saying i get the crusty crust sometimes mine are even a little bit crusty right now because your girl's been slacking on her water intake but that's neither here nor there don't judge me 
So the next thing I have is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I have mine in the shade Light. So for whatever reason, I started picking this up. Um, like, 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 I started reaching for this every time I would do my makeup, and I was like, you know, like, I never reach for that. And luckily, I started picking it up because this would have got decluttered because this is literally how little I was picking it up. And then, like, all of a sudden in September, I was like, let me grab that. Let me try it out. Let me see. And I love this, you guys. It really does make your skin look poreless. It sets it down. And if you add a powder that's, or your foundation is just a little bit too light, this will add some pigmentation back to your skin. So I go very light handed with this underneath the eyes, but for all over the face, it's really, really good. A little bit messy because it is a loose powder, but you guys, you will not regret trying that powder. Will not regret. Okay, so the next thing I have for you guys, Oh, let's start with teeth are these smile sciences teeth whitening pins now these these are mint flavored but i don't recall tasting a flavor in these and also the only downside to this and it tells you on the box do not get on your gums do not get on your lips because it does burn so when you use this you do have to kind of sit there like and i will sit there for that 30 minutes like that i'll just lay down and read a book with my mouth open like that but this will have your teeth so flipping white after one use like it looks like you got a new pair of teeth y'all obviously my crookedness don't go away but the it makes your teeth so freaking white i love this whitening pen i don't think i've ever tried a whitening product that worked as fast and as good as this i don't know how often you're supposed to do this i think it's like once a week but i was using this every day because your girl has some i was using this just like every other night until I got as white as I wanted and now I use it like once a month and it maintains it. So the next thing I was loving, if you guys are looking for a really good like aluminum free natural deodorant, I tried the Schmitz one you guys and I can't, it's, it's really good. There, it, it keeps your it keeps your odor at bay and it keeps you from sweating and it's really good. The problem is though, is like my armpits got really dark when I started using it and then they would peel and get like crusty and then there would be like this ring inside of my armpit from the, like the peeling and it was just, it was a whole situation. So I don't know what it is with that Schmitz deodorant. So I started looking for something different and I found this Tom's long lasting deodorant. I have mine in the apricot scent. And it says, no animal testing, no artificial, no artificial colors, flavors, fragrance, or preservatives. And then it says, uh, and it, this doesn't have aluminum in it because this does not keep you from sweating. This is not an antiperspirant, but it is for odor. And I agree. I, my pits get a little bit moist throughout the day, but I've also been somebody who never really has had a problem with sweating. So the only time I really need something is whenever I take my burn pills for the gym. But I really like this, you guys. I have to use this twice a day. Now the Schmitz, I could only have to use at night. But I have to use this twice a day and I do clean my armpits with witch hazel every time before I use it. And that just helps your body kind of detoxify faster and it just helps keep like your odor at bay if you switch to natural deodorant try that trick of every time before you put on deodorant just take a little bit of witch hazel wipe your armpits use your natural deodorant and no matter what natural deodorant you use it will help i really like the sense of this one and it has like a cooling sensation whenever you put it on and so it's like the best before bed like i love this deodorant try it out you guys try this but be careful when you pick this because there are some Tom's deodorants that have the aluminum. So it took me, like I was reading labels like crazy. I still can't get Brian to switch over to an aluminum free one. <sighs> but I try to lead by example because I was so tempted to just go back to aluminum because the Schmitz tore my armpits up and I refused to pay $12 for the native deodorant. I refuse. Okay, so the next thing I did pick up was this Bior. Free your pores witch hazel. This is the pore clarifying toner. Now this does have al have alcohol in it, but it also has salic salicylic acid in it, which is really going to help fight if you're having any acne breakouts or anything like this. I went, 
I started breaking out really, really bad last month, and I don't know why. My cheeks were really bad, my forehead right here around my chin. I was getting like cluster breakouts, and I had no idea why. I was like, I haven't changed anything. I mean, I could be better drinking water, but all of the products I use are the same. So anyways, needless to say, I started looking for something that would kind of help with acne. Like I don't suffer from acne and I'm very, very thankful that I don't suffer from cystic acne or anything like that. But if you do suffer with random acne breakouts like I do, I would definitely give this a try. I, It doesn't keep like, it'll help keep it at its bay. And when you do break out, they don't last half as long as well as you don't break out as often. So I do still have some scars and things like that, but they don't last long at all with me using this Bior um, for your pores with hazel because this is a pore clarifying toner so it says controls oil and deep cleans for clear pores. Now I use this as the, the second step in my second or third depending. So if I have on makeup, I go in with a cleansing balm and then I wash my face two times um with the facial cleanser and then i'll drop pat dry and then i will go in with this been working miracles try this out if you haven't already so the next thing i've been loving and this is for my curly haired girls now if you have some super long thick hair this isn't going to be friendly on your pockets i have short hair and i have thin hair so my hair only looks thick because of all the curls but as you can see when i straighten it your girl ain't got but like six hairs. So this is really, really good. This, oh my gosh, this gives me pretty, like, this is, the, by the way, this is Heritage by Mindy, Mindy McKnight. This is a head of the curl, curl cream, sulfate free, phthalate free, paraben free, silicone free, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free, and vegan. So all the things that people are raving about right now. But this gives me the really pretty ringlet curls and it makes my, like, you see how long it is in my curl? Like my hair gets so curly, it'll shrivel up to like right here. And I just love it. It gives my hair so much volume. So if you've been looking and it doesn't, it doesn't leave your hair looking frizzy. Cause there's been times where I've tried to curl cream and it either weighs it down way too much or I'll try gels and it makes my hair way too hard and crunchy. This is like perfect. It doesn't weigh it down. My hair still feels light and bouncy and it moves and it's not stiff. So if you're one of my curly haired friends, try this Heritage Curl Cream. I promise you won't regret it. Now, the last thing I'm gonna mention, as soon as you hear where it's from and what it is, stop my video, go buy it, and then come back and tell me thank you. But it is this brush right here, you guys. So when I bought this brush, I told you guys, I like to comb my hair. And I can only really comb it whenever it's straight. So whenever it's curly, like a comb is just not enough. But if you take this little band off right here, let me see. So it comes with this band. So you can put this band on right here or you can move it up. But as you can see, this brush is basically just a bunch of little combs together to make a brush. It's a comb brush. Oh my gosh, it's a crush. That's it, I called it, mic drop, it's a crush. Anyways, you guys, I swear, this is why I only have two friends. <laughs> uh, I have lots of acquaintances, but people that actually choose to hang out with me, that's why I only got two of them. <laughs> so anyways, I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below because y'all, this is just that good. And I have mine up at the top because I don't want it to move too much whenever I brush it. And I feel like if I put the little band thing right here, down here, I feel like this would move too much. So I have mine up at the top, but you guys, like I said, my curly hair, naps or not, like I just have to do like one swipe through, like literally when I'm brushing my hair after a shower, I go one, two, three and then i go from underneath and like i'm done this is amazing like i don't understand why people aren't using this if you have curly hair even if you have straight hair try this like it just feels good to brush your hair with like try this brush try it now go get it now They have different colors too. I believe there's a pink and a black one. I chose this one just to be different. But anyways, 
I'm done being crazy, you guys. I told you guys that my favorites wasn't very long, but... I really, really, really enjoyed these things in the month of September that were like seriously like, well, except for the makeup. The hygiene products were like life changing for me. The makeup, a lot of older favorites came back and like just faster ways to do my makeup. But yeah, that is it for today's video, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.